What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, for the Game of Deer Hero. Welcome you back to another episode of The Saga Lock. And today, 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 we did the lovely art of grinding. We did a lot. Of, we actually did a good amount of grinding, to be honest. And then we collected some EXP candies in the ground, so we used those and might as well, because, you know, might as well use those, um, especially because they're the medium size, so they're kind of perfect for us right now. Um, but here is our team. Let's go ahead and go over team recap. We have Whale About with Ancient Power, Liquidation, Earthquake, Lava Plume. We have Trudy with Quiver Dance, Flame Charge, Overdrive, and Scorching Sands. We have Nolan with Mortal Spin, Foul Play, Earthquake, Springside Storm. <coughs> we have Brock with Poison Point, High Horsepower, Fissure, Order Up, and Lock On. Then we have Squidward with Yawn, Cross Poison, Burning Jealousy, and S Heat Wave. And Gwen with Frost, Frost Breath, Freeze Dry, Leech Seed, and Muddy Water. So far, that's that's who we've got and what we've got. Um, we've not gotten a chance to see what Trudy could have learned. So that's what we're going to do now. Oh, hi, Aqua Step. Trudy, I think you'd like this move a lot. Aqua Step is a good move for you, girl. What are we gonna get rid of, though? I guess this is better than Flame Charge. Aqua Step is just an 80 base power Flame Charge, but for water types. Yeah. We already have Squidward for fire moves. Why Why not? What else can be learned from Trudy? Um, our girl Trudy can learn Aurora Veil, which is pointless. Ice Shard, which is priority, which is nice. Um, and Shed Tail herself, but I don't want to do that to her. But yeah, so uh, let's make sure we have potions in our arsenal. Because I do not know what the to totem... Oh, I should buy some more super potions. I'm glad I looked, because, yeah. I don't know what I said totem. What the Titan Pokemon are like, because that's what today is what we're tackling. So, yeah. I want to make sure that we're in a mighty fine position. Also, I love how we're paying... At, like, I feel like L LP feels like our credit card, and we have not charged our credit card yet. Which is nice. <laughs> We've yet to charge the credit card, and I like it that way. Oh, who? So, yeah. So, it's funny. So, I was trying the other, or earlier, to, like, lure one of these Pokemon over into Aetatron. But then, it's like, once you get to the Aetatron border, everything goes away. And it's so sad, because it's like, that, that, that literally limits our encounter super hard. But it is the right way this game is supposed to work, which is... Se but, yeah. I just was hoping that maybe, just maybe, I'd be able to lure in Pokemon into the domain that they're not supposed to be. But, no. S alas, that is not gonna happen. Oh, hi, Slegoos. Or, not Slegoos. Um, Shellos. There we go. Um, I was like, what is your name? I feel like I should know it. Yeah, I, it's because I do know it. It's just that my brain's just not functioning today. I need my coffee. I haven't got my coffee yet. Um, that is definitely on the horizon. So that's for sure. But yeah, I'm actually really nervous because this is our first Titan battle. Um, and I don't know if the Titans are randomized or not, or if they're like considered statics that are randomized. And if they are, what's going to happen as a result of them and all of the, all that jazz. So again, that's what we're doing today. So hopefully nothing too terrible happens in regards, but we'll find out. Okay. Uh, 
So, good that they are not randomized. In a way. Oh! Um... What's going on? The Titan Clock seems to be eating something. John, you found it! Hi, Arvin. How are you doing, buddy? And that's any Cliff Titan. No! Cloth has got any business being that big. Is it gonna get even stronger now after eating those herbs? Let's watch ourselves, John. Oh, we have Arvin battling with us. That's cool. Doesn't touch the mask range, so I don't I'm not worried. Well, this is looking a little rough. Shelter, let's serve up a <laughs> heaping helping of defeat. That's not a shelter, buddy, but okay. Thank you for putting it to sleep, though. Doesn't affect the mass drain, and... Earthquake has become a 2 hit KO, but it's still a 2 hit KO. That, that was easy peasy. Cloth has fainted. Bye, Cloth! You have defeated the Titan Cloth. Oh my god, Willabout's so happy! Hi, Willabout. We did not get much experience at all for that. The fact that Cloth is level 20 is crazy to me. Alright, look at my little buddy coming through like a champ. But these Titan Pokemon are yeesh. I sure don't like having something so tough out to get me. I bet somewhere in here there's more of that Herba Mystica the Titan was eating. Quick, let's have a look before it comes back. Watch your step. It's pretty dark. No way! This is one of the Herba Mystica. It's exactly how it looked in the book. Ar you and Arvin found the sweet herb... The sweet Herba Mystica. Yes! We actually found one! It's all thanks to you! Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? It says here the sweet herba mystica is good for gut health and a it can help aid digestion. It says that it's great for stomach aches too, or when people have to st stimulate the old appetite. Now, if I can just get him to eat some. All right, now it's my turn to show off what I can do. You're about to get a taste of my cooking. Okay, what are we cooking? What are we cooking? Here you go. It's an Arvin original sandwich packed full of herbs. And I'll even give you a badge, you know, as a thank you for taking on the Titan Pokemon. I call it a Titan badge. Made it myself using a replica of the gym badges, you see. <laughs> oh, why 
are gonna have a lot of fun with Arvin. Oh, we're actually eating. That's cool. Aiga. Uh, what's up with that thing? It just comes out of the ball on its own or whenever it wants. It wants to eat my sandwich. It wants to eat my sandwich. It, it totally wants to eat my sandwich. Hey, now. that No, that's not for you. Ugh. Do you want to give your sandwich to Maridon? Ah, uh, why do I have a choice? I'm going to spoil it. Chop, 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 chop. Hey, I went through all the trouble of making that for you just to give it away. I hope you realize all that's all there was. So now there's none left for you. That's totally fine. Oh, come on. Now you're making me feel like a selfish jerk here. Here, you can have half of mine. You'd better savor every last bite of it, though. Huh? You already ate the whole thing. Maridon will be able to dash now. Hey. Hey, is it me? Or is, has this sort of thing powered up somehow? Whoa, I can't believe it. The power of these herbs are really worth guarding. Hey, if they had a big effect on your Pokemon, then I bet. Uh, I bet it'll come super handy for that treasure hunt assignment we've got. Yep, that's what I bet. Well... I hope you're both filled your bellies with some of my legendary sandwiches. Guess it's time to tidy up everything. Oh, don't worry about helping. After battling the Titan, you've earned a break. Just leave this all to me. Though, I'd be much obliged if you start searching out the remaining four Arbahistica for us. That is a lot later, my dude. I'm gonna... You know, I loved having the side path and that side tragic. I really owe you. I mean, hook me up with your dad and then everything will be fine. What? I didn't say anything. It's fine. Okay, the coast is clear. You can come on out now. What? Oh, it's your dad! How's... <laughs> Hello, John. This is Toro. I detect that Maridon has regained some of its original power, and it seems like you may be able to dash at high speeds when you're riding upon it. You can now use the dash ahead by pressing the left stick but watch out for the trees while dashing at high speeds if you strike a tree while dashing pokemon lurking up lurking up among the branches will fall down and battle you battle you can battle them you can continue to explore paldea with maridon as you come here your route is not fixed but open your route is not fixed but open for you seek out your own path using your map and then and the tools that you have at your hand Whenever you find curiosity, you're, find that your curiosity is piqued, you should go explore what your heart desires. All that you experience will help you grow in some way, great or small. Go on forth on your journey and take care of Maridon for me. Can I go back in here? Is there maybe? No, I'm not allowed. I was hoping there was Pokemon in here. Dang it. I was really hoping. I, I straight up, that was what I was hoping for. That I could go back in there and get another encounter. But nope, that's not allowed. Okay, well, our next task is you. Um, So I guess let's let's do it. And we're getting an encounter as well. So that's two big positives that you guys get to see. Encounter and... um. encounter and uh our first star team star member thing so two big two big bump boosts bumps not bump, not bumps boosts in our what we've done
Okay, I gotta close my eyes. Three, two, one. Oh, a cub chew. Okay. I don't know when Cup Chew evolves. I feel like it's a late level evolution. But that's what we can find out, so. What level does Cup Chew evolve? Ooh, late evolution. Okay. We're going to give Cup Chew a nickname? Well, yes, yeah, it's Patrick. Patrick's bat. I mean, <laughs> we can see his summary, but it doesn't matter necessarily. I mean, he's still going to stuck, be stuck here for a minute. A moon ball. Oh, no. Normalize. Poor Patrick will be on the team for a minute. Oh, there was Mareep and two Dunsparces. And a Lechonk? Oh my gosh. I missed out on so many good Pokemon. I would have been happy with any of them, to be honest. What a you. Oh, it's uh, the second evolution of Spaghetto. We're just collecting some stuff at this point. But a lot of the collection and stuff is going to happen. No! That's another good Pokemon! Oh, there's, there are some big misses in here. Oh. S Snowvers that would those would have been cool. Snow runt. They're like, your adventures opened up for you, and I'm over here like, okay, but also, let me get to my team Star Grunt, which I believe she's this way. Yes, I found her. Roto, to, to, to. Cassiopeia here. I see you're getting close to one of the team star bases. I take it this means you've decided to take on my operation? That's right. Thank you. With all this, you're officially a member of the Operation Star Call. Hold on a second. Does this Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? Well, who are you? Who are you? The name's Clav. Oh, and how long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. M I'm a pal, a mutual friend here, isn't that right, John? I guess maybe. Aha, shy as ever, I see. We're talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you can just join in for fun. Well, I'm aware. I'm just. I just need to sort up some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. 
Welcome to the operation, Clyde. Great. That settles it, then. I think you've heard my name earlier, Cassiopeia, was it? Uh, who exactly are you? Team Star and I share some mystery. That's all I'm going to say for now. I see. In that case, I won't press you any further. Now go back to business. Let's talk Operation, operation Starfall. Yes. What would you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each of Team Star's bases. And then you'll defeat a boss of the team and then put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we need to oust some of these bosses from their role somehow? That's right. Team Star is made up of five squads, and each of those squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gate of one of those bases now, in fact. Ah, uh, yes. I can see them over there. On the other side of the base proper, somehow, within the base, lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Okay, starting with the idea. Well, that's just an outline. The key to the whole operation is the code the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle, you have no choice to expect, except. So, and what's more, if they happen to lose the battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to the base under your name, John. They're, basic, they're, they're basically declaration, declarations of war. Now, all that Team Star knows is that we're looking for a fight. Let's say that we defeat all the bosses and they step down from their roles. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles and no one is left to lead them. That's what happens. A solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and bases that themselves are of a considerable size. Your garden variety trainer would overrun, would be overrun long before they'd be anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation, John. Defeat Pokemon inside the base, drag the boss out from their hiding. First things first, though, you'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. And what will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have a history with the Team Star. That means I cannot operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. That's right. And what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely yet. For now, you'll just monitor the bases and act as John's support. You are a cautious one, all right. I respect that. I'll be in touch again, but with a good plan, advances to the next stage. Good hunting out there. Well, go get him, John. That's what I thought! Okay, hold on. I have no idea what you mean, but if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Klav, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. I totally thought it was him. Okay, I'm not freaking crazy. I was like, that looks... I feel like they're pulling a Gen 7 here. Yeah, they were. They totally were. Okay. Again, don't feel as bad. Oh! This, I can catch Pokemon here if I... It's a new area. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You cannot be here. This base belongs to Team Star. If you can, don't clear real quick, like, I'll have to come at you in self-defense. You get me? I'm not turning back. Well, all right. Time for me to self-defense the snot out of, right out of you. You're challenged by a Team Star Grunt. This Team Star Grunt has a Magneton that's going to get absolutely destroyed by our girl, Wellbow. It's level What? Why are you level 25? Am I in the wrong spot? I defended myself all right, but it wasn't enough. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, aren't you the kid that declared war on Team Star? Whoa, that stinks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back and rest. Uh, let the rest of my crew know. Asa la vista. Hey, John. 
Cassie P told me to scope out the fire crew base. I thought I'd give you a backup now, but I'm th through, but it seems like you're all set. Fufum! What? Fufu! Is that you, Tar Charlos? Fufu! I thought so. What are you doing here? This this is Tarlos, the Charcident. Oh, woo. He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. Ah, uh, Charlos, wait! He ran off. Looks like he may have some connection with Team Fire Crew. Better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. You should press the Han in the base. Press head into the base, John. Bro, to 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 to. I see you dealt with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Stationed inside the base is Team Fire Star Crew, the squad, the Sketchler Squad. Their base, Mela, is the best all-arounder of the team. She fixes any and everyone's problems, anything thrown her way. Though her methods are heavy-handed, our declaration of war must have made the, her blood boil. I bet now our grunts are hard at work inside the base, trying to keep her fury under control. That means it's your best move to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once there is no one left, help Mela keep her cool. She should come out and confront you. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe out the Sh Shedler squad off the map. Uh, okay. So... I am going to do that in the next episode, because being that, that that first Pokemon was level 25, that, that makes me scared, because it said that 21 was the level I was supposed to be at for her. But when the Grunt's 25, she's going to be of a higher level. She could totally be the second member, that I, and I just don't know that she's the second member, but I thought that she, it was her first. Yeah, I was under the impression that it's her first, and then him, but I could be wrong. Because that's our next gym right here. <clears throat> but yeah, so in the next episode, we'll be taking that on. Love you all.